Tonight, a wedding story no couple wants to live through. Brides and grooms reached out to News 6. They were left scrambling at the last moment for a place to host their wedding. Yeah, the city of Orlando condemned the building they chose, and the couple say they were never told. News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky went out to get results. And Adriana, this has to be hard for these couples. It's been tough. They had all of their plans in place, and then they found out just last month that their dream wedding venue was condemned after the city found major safety issues. Now, the couples I talked to say they were kept in the dark about those issues, and they consider that nothing short of fraud. Katie Rose and Damon Keith had a picture-perfect proposal, and they were looking forward to having a picture-perfect wedding inside this downtown Orlando space located at 1010 West Church Street. They even put the address on their wedding invitations, but then they found out the building had been condemned four months before their big day. I was shocked. I cried. I was at work when I got the news. When they started looking for another venue, they got another blow. It's going to cost about four times as much. The couple says when they asked the Cross Orlando Church for a refund, they were told they would not get it until 30 days from their October wedding date. A lot of other brides have it worse than I do. According to the city, as it stands now, this space is unfit for human occupancy and was condemned for failing to obtain all the proper permits. And a deputy chief with the Orlando Fire Department confirms that. This place didn't have fire sprinklers. This place didn't have panic hardware. It didn't have emergency illumination. And it didn't have the modification to the exit doors should an emergency happen. Exactly. That's a huge safety it risk. Is. Deputy Nothing Chief Ian Davis that says the city correct. gave 1010 West 10 months to get up to code. And Orlando Fire even provided staff to keep people attending church services and weddings there safe for several months. And in that 10 months, nothing has been done to nothing. fix the safety issue. That is correct. Not one thing. That is correct. Not one thing has been resolved. But Brad Cowherd, the building's owner, says that's not true, that they have tried to submit plans for the alarms and fire sprinklers only to have their plans rejected. He called News 6 from Guatemala late last night. We have been cooperative from day one. It's just there's a disconnect from them saying we want to help you to actually putting into place with the permit, with all of the disciplines, how to get it done. Like Katie and Damon, Andrea Hill and her fiance John Tyler also picked 1010 West for their wedding. They put down their deposit in January, months after the church and the building owner were made aware of the code violations. They say they were never told there were any safety concerns, and had they known, they would have never picked 1010 West for their wedding. But even if 1010 West opened tomorrow, I would not want to have my wedding there because I feel like they've treated us unethically. I feel like they haven't earned our trust. Tonight, I can tell you, our calls to both the Cross Orlando Church and the owner of 1010 West got results. Now, both couples I talked to received emails saying they will be getting their refund on their deposits. And the church also sent me this email stating they will refund anyone who has had an event scheduled there and wants to cancel. Adriana Ivashinsky, News 6.